any it's so many thoughts about women in power black women in power there's so many thoughts about um how things are being handled why he dropped out so late um who's all endorsing her and all that type of stuff right all that shit is one thing at the end of the day bro we got two options you got Trump, you got Kamala. We ain't got nobody else to go for because she's already secured all the Democrat uh, the Democratic nominations mm-hmm. now to be the primary candidate. So now, like, it's serious now. So as of yesterday, you got two options. So at this point, is what option do you go with? Because two things that I that I'm very interested in is this, and the first thing is this: when it comes down to Trump, the thing I'm interested in hearing him more speak more about is what are we going to do with. Uh, international like the foreign policies right because you got israel and palestine they beefed up you got ukraine and russia plexed up you got taiwan and china you got all these different things going on right Um, amongst other things those are just some of the bigger headlines right um so what what is his stance on those things and what does he plan to do with those things same thing with kamala right okay a woman's coming into the to the white house a black woman at that you know what what is she going to do to gain trust in some of these other countries? I don't know if they're going to rock with her the same or whatever. I don't know. But I'm interested in seeing, hey, knowing what you know uh, from being in the office now, what are some of your foreign policies? Those are some things I'm interested in hearing. So based on based on that, that's one big thing. 